buckle up because the countdown starts right away. BMW M5 The new generation of the high-performance M5 model is ready to hit the market this summer and it promises a lot. First of all, there's a completely new design with a sharper look and, more importantly, sharper handling than before. But probably the biggest change is under the hood, as for the first time, the M5 is about to get a hybrid powertrain. More precisely, we're about to see the same setup from the XM SUV, with a max output of 735 horsepower and 735 pound-feet of torque. That's already an obvious improvement over the previous V8-powered generation with 627 horsepower, so we are eagerly waiting to see the blistering acceleration of the new model, which will also stand out with larger brakes and rear-wheel steering necessary to handle higher output. Last but not least, the new BMW M5 will bring another major novelty in North America because it will also come in a wagon body style, something that has been reserved for European buyers in the past. The all-new model will hit the market in July, and we expect it with a starting price of around $120,000. Cadillac Escalade IQ the famous SUV is about to get an all-electric iteration. Just like the gas-powered model, it'll come with monumental dimensions, but other than that, it'll be a completely different vehicle based on the new Altium platform. As you may presume, most parts will be shared with the Hummer EV, but the Escalade IQ will be more luxurious and more stylish in accordance with Escalade's pedigree. Of course, the electric version will carry on with a familiar overall shape, but the front end will adopt the new design language while the cabin will utilize a new design with a massive screen that takes the whole width of the dashboard. Still, the biggest change, of course, will be under the hood, where the familiar V8, two of them to be more precise, will be replaced with an all-electric setup. The max output is expected to go around 750 horsepower, while the massive 200 kilowatt hour battery pack is expected to provide up to 450 miles on a single charge. As expected, the all electric version will be notably more expensive than the gas powered counterpart, which currently starts at around 83,000. The cheapest all electric model is expected to go around 99,000. Mercedes Benz EQG the iconic G-Wagon is getting an all-electric iteration too. Once a reputable off-roader, the G-Class has turned into one of the most luxurious SUVs around, and now the all-new model is coming, equipped with an all-electric setup. Fortunately, it won't lose any of its off-road capabilities, though we're pretty sure that potential buyers are happier because of the fact that the legendary cubby exterior remains pretty much untouched. And as modern G-Wagon buyers require, high-end luxury is on the inside as well. As for the powertrain, we know the specs for the so-called Edition 1, which will hit the market first. And it won't feature two, but four electric motors, one for each wheel, with a total output of 579 horsepower. That model will cost around $180,000 according to our sources, but we expect the offer to be expanded, not just with cheaper models, but the AMG badged variant as well. Ram Rampage Ram presented Rampage in Brazil last year, but the moment we saw those taillights with the US flag, it was obvious that Stellantis had bigger plans for this compact pickup. With its unibody platform, it imposes as a natural rival to the super popular Ford Maverick, and from what we can see on the Brazilian market version, Ram plans to bring up the game and offer a more luxurious package. Ram also has serious off-road pretensions in the form of the Rebel trim, which will include a full load of upgrades including raised suspension, locking differential, and many more. Finally, a few words about the powertrain. The South American version is primarily offered as a diesel. On the US market, base models are expected to come with a familiar 2-liter turbo 4 with 268 horsepower, but various sources also speculate about a hybrid version. That model would feature the same setup as the new Dodge Hornet with a total output of 288 horsepower. Details about the US launch are still unavailable, but on the other hand, the starting price is estimated at $34,000. Honda Prelude Over the last few decades, Honda neglected its true identity by not releasing genuine small sports cars, which have always been its thing. Well, that's finally about to change. The company already bought Integra back, and now it's time for another iconic name to revive. 
This time, it's about the Prelude, the famous two-door coupe that has been out of production for a very long time. Honda already presented a concept version and it looks very production ready, which is why most sources suggest it could arrive already by the end of this year. And if you take a little bit of a closer look, this sleek coupe does feature four-wheel drive proportions, which supports those rumors about the new Prelude not being an all-electric car. Instead, we expect to see a gas-electric setup, most likely a plug-in hybrid, rumors suggest. Technical details are still unavailable, but we're pretty sure that the new setup will have more than 200 104 horsepower, which is how much the Accord Hybrid puts out. Such a sleek design deserves way more. As for the price, it's still too early for predictions. Genesis GV90 the moment it was established as a brand, Genesis started impressing the automotive community with the amount of luxury and quality it puts into its reasonably priced models. Most of the lineup is still a best buy in most premium segments, and now it's time for a genuine flagship. It's time for the GV90, a full-size luxury SUV that will represent the ultimate luxury you can get from the Korean car maker. The styling looks impressive, with futuristic lighting groups and sleek lines. On the other hand, we don't expect to see those swiveling front seats from the concept, but rather a more conventional setup. Still, that doesn't mean any lack of luxury. After all, this model will compete with Mercedes-Benz GLS, BMW X7, and similar premium players. Now, the most interesting part of the story. It will feature an all-electric setup with standard all-wheel drive. Details are still unavailable, but base models will most likely feature a 500 horsepower setup from the GV70. As for the battery, the GV90 will most likely use the same 99.8 kilowatt hour battery pack as the Kia EV9, which should provide a maximum range of around 300 miles. The brand new GV90 is expected to arrive late this year, with a starting price of around $100,000. Nissan Maxima while most car makers show no interest in making large sedans anymore, Nissan, along with a few more Japanese car makers, thinks differently. There's still a solid market for this super convenient segment, so we're happy to share with you that the next generation Maxima is in development. Moreover, it's expected to arrive already by the end of this year, eventually in 2025. And from what we can see in rendering photos, it will look amazing. The four-door sedan layout is still there, but the new model looks more aggressive and more prominent than its predecessor. Styling changes and upgraded interior, those are all changes that come to mind. But the biggest change will be the powertrain, because the new generation will ride on the same platform as the recently introduced Aria, which means the new Aria will be all-electric. Base models are expected to come with two-wheel drive with 214 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque. Just like the new crossover, the new Maxima will also be available with an all-wheel drive setup with 389 horsepower. But the offer possibly won't end there. Some sources also speculate about a high-performance version, which would feature the same setup as the IM's concept, with 483 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. As for the price, base models are expected to go around $44,000. What do you think about the future of large sedans? Can electrification help them survive? We'd like to hear your opinion on this, so make sure to leave a comment. Of course, make sure to subscribe as well, but first let's check the rest of the list because the best is yet to come. Porsche Boxster and Cayman For most car enthusiasts, the Porsche 718, whether in the form of a Boxster or Cayman, is the best new sports car to buy. Famous for its nimble handling, mid-engine layout, and legendary boxer engines, the 718 is about to radically change. Because these are new times, times of electrification where even sports car icons like these need to change. The next generation will be all electric, but does this mean we're going to lose its recognizable identity? We hope it won't. For now, we know for sure it will once again come both as Boxster and as Cayman, both as a convertible and sports coupe. As for the power figures, we have no doubt that with electric motors, new models will be peppier. Still, the biggest challenge will be the battery, because the 718 is all about handling. It needs to remain lightweight, so we don't believe Porsche is about to install some incredibly large battery, which further indicates that the max range probably won't be impressive. We expect around 250 miles of range, along with Taycan's 270 kilowatt fast charging capabilities. The all-electric Cayman and Boxster are expected to debut later this year, with a starting price of around $78,000. 
Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 and Zora. The current generation of America's most iconic sports car has been around for a while, and now when we've got used to the mid-engine layout, it's time for a super hot high-performance version to come. The first one to come is one with the famous ZR1 badge, and that one will feature an upgraded variant of the well-known 5.5-liter V8. The engine will get massive help from twin turbochargers, and the forced induction should increase the maximum output all the way up to 800 horsepower. According to the officials, that should be enough to ensure 0 to 60 in less than 2.5 seconds. However, the ZR1 won't be cheap, considering that the latest reports suggest a starting price of around $150,000. Finally, Chevy prepared a new range-topping version of the Corvette, named after the legendary Zora Arcus Duntov. This model will utilize hybrid technology, so besides the same turbocharged V8, the setup will also consist of 160 horsepower electric motors. Various sources suggest a max output of 1,000 horsepower and 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds, but they also speculate about a $200,000 price tag. That would be our list of the hottest new cars coming in 2024. Do you think we've missed something? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.